Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and today we're going to be looking at the Sherwood Wrecker M90 and comparing it to its older, uh, I would say brothers, the EK365 and EK60. Uh, so if you have been following my channel, you would, you should know that I'm a pretty big fan of Sherwood sticks. Um, I had, I got, when I got this EK60, I was a huge fan of it. It was like one of the first sub 400 gram sticks, um, and it was like a pretty decently valued uh, stick and the price was pretty good. Uh, I never used a 365, just it never fell onto my radar. Well, sorry, that's not true. I just never ended up buying it. I ended up buying a bunch of other sticks over that one at the time. And Sherwood went through getting bought out by, uh, I think, Canadian Tire. So that is another reason too. And now the M90. So first of all, I would like to point out that thank you very much to Sherwood for sending me the M90 and that awesome care box, care package, which included this sweatshirt. Um, so to do some videos and talk about it and to do a review on the stick itself. So a little history, um, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Sherwood. I also have a T120 that I showed off in the initial video of this. Um, and I really love that stick. It was also a very light stick and I just felt it was really good overall and very good for the value because they're under, they're much cheaper than other sticks at the, at the time. I don't have an EK15, but I used it and I was a huge fan. But from my experience, they were a little bit brittle, and I saw a lot of them break, especially on the blades. Um, Sherwood went a little more expensive and raised the price on the EK60. Uh, and then they did so on, I think they raised it again on 365, or else it's about the same. It's still cheaper than other top-end sticks. I believe this, this one retails for, has a price on $259 for the EK365. I think it's $259 for the M90. That's Canadian, um, compared to, I think, three. 20 for like the CCM and Bauer. So it's it's up there in price, but it's not the top tier, but they used to be cheaper than that. And when I want to give Sherwood huge props for something, but I'm also going to criticize them at the same time. The EK, uh, EK15 was like, it didn't feel like a top, top end stick because it didn't have the grip. It didn't have really the blade texture, but it had the, the weight. Um, so then it was just like a kind of standard gloss or like grip, but like gloss type feeling or the shiny you know, like kind of like this, but without the texture on it. Um, and then, but it was also priced much lower. And then the EK60 was priced higher, but I didn't feel they really did anything to justify the price increase. Now they added, they said they added graphene to it. Um, from my understanding of graphene tech, graphene is a crazy, crazy molecule and how they're using a graphene stick graphene on a piece of a stick that's less than like six hundred dollars is pretty amazing so i'm really curious how they do that but with that said like i still felt this stick didn't feel like a top end stick in my hand the weight was obviously there, the shooting was there but it just didn't have that like a little bit extra um and so it kind of i found it made the ek60 kind of a bit harder of a sell than the 15 was and especially comparing it to other companies now when sherwood came out with a the 365 they kind of stepped up into that next tier, especially with their grip. So they went to the 3D grip pattern, as you can see here. Um, and this stick, when you hold it next to like a top end CCM Bauer Warrior, it feels and looks like a top end stick. And I'm not saying like, oh, it has to look this way or whatever. I'm just saying Sherwood is giving you a ton of value for this price because everything is basically the same as other companies now, but for a little bit less. And that's a huge props to them. There was one thing I wasn't a huge fan of for the, the EK365 and that's the VR2 blade. Sorry, VRF2 blade. So this was on it since I think, I think my T120 has a VRF2 on it as well. I found them to be a bit soft. I wanted them a bit stiffer and a bit more pingy on them. Um, so I was disappointed this stick still had that blade. Happily, I can say the M90 has a new blade. So this one isn't labeled. Um, I can't remember what this is. I think it's a VRF3, but it definitely feels more pingy. It feels stiffer and it does have this awesome like shark skin type finish or pressed finish. Um, so CCM has this on their blades. I think some Bauer sticks do too. I love this texture. I feel it just makes sticks feel a little bit like more higher end. And this texture, from my experience, every stick I've had with this texture has lasted longer on the blade than ones that don't. Um, mine is jet speeds, but that's a different different topic. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm a huge fan of this texture. I'm a huge fan of how this stick feels. I love this 
textured grip all throughout it right here. I think it's like, that's one of my favorite things about grip sticks is when they have textured. I don't like just the normal glossy grip. I want texture in it because I feel it just gives you a little bit more tactile feel when your hands and your glove runs along the stick. It lets you just know exactly where your hand is on the stick a little bit more. It's not like a major thing, but it's like just the small touches that I'm a huge, huge fan of. Um, so besides these two sticks, when you're just putting them side by side, the weight on them is pretty much the same. So I don't feel that they really lost any weight on the 365, which to me doesn't really matter, especially because the 365 comes in at like 395 grams anyways. So this is still a sub 400 gram stick. It's just not pushing the boundaries anymore. One thing I did notice is it does look like the taper has been updated and changed to their, it says drop, drop kick taper, low kick point. Um, when you look at them, to me, it does seem like it tapers a little bit more aggressively than the 365 does. I'm not sure if that's just my mind playing tricks on me, but it does look like it tapers up here instead of a bit lower. Um, I didn't find the Wrecker sticks to be low, low kicks. I found them to be like more of the Alpha because the Alpha is a, a low kick, but their QR, the Covert series of Warrior is they're like super low and I find trigger super low. Um, I find the this stick to be closer to the Alpha. So it's like a low, but it's not a crazy low taper type thing. I am going to be using, finally, I'm going to be using this tonight. I'm going to try to play with my broken finger. Um, it should be pretty close to healed now. So I'm really excited to get this on the ice. Um, this Sherwood EK60 has been with me since before it launched. And I've used it more than any other stick I have. And it's still running strong. Um, so that was a good testament to its durability there. I generally don't break sticks unless something crazy happens. Um, but... The fact that it's still going now after all my shot blocks and everything like that is really impressive. So I'm really looking forward to using this M90. So while I can't comment on the M90's performance quite yet, because um, obviously I have not used it yet, I can say I really like the feel of it in my hand so far. I'm really looking forward to using it. Really looking forward to testing out this new blade. I will have a full review of this and more stuff coming in the future with this stick. Um, but I definitely recommend people check it out. Sherwood is has some kind of negative connotations to their their name um, and I think that's really disappointing because they've been making really quality sticks like since before the EK15 and especially for value value sticks and this one is no different and this is I'm really impressed with this so far um, the one thing I will say I did do find Sherwoods play a bit stiffer than they're advertised so all mine are 85s I use a 85 CCM 85 Bauer. I use a hundred warriors and I, and these are 85s as well. I was tempted to go to a 75 on this. Um, just because I feel like they, they do play a bit stiffer than the other ones. We'll see with this one. That was my experience with the six, uh, EK 60 and the T 120. And I think I, the EK 15 as well. So we'll see how this is going down the line. Um, I'll definitely comment that once I have some usage with it. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video or dislike it. Subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon so you get notified when a new video comes out. Um, remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. I do some small like comparison things and small content that's not big enough for YouTube on there, so I think it might be useful. Um, and remember, if you ever do piece, purchase PC equipment because of one of my videos, please reach out to a manufacturer and let them know on social media. It helps me get on the radar so I can get more gear like this so I can do reviews on and make more content. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.